Good evening to all. Here again at the land at Gun Hill St. George, by the land statue, which was carved by Captain Henry Wilkinson, who was an officer at the Gun Hill Signal Station. The statue depicts the lion resting his paw on a big red round ball, supposing to be the ending of British colonialism. I just start to take my coat. So as I was saying, the lion was carved in 1868 by Captain Henry Wilkinson, who was an officer at Dunhill Signal Station. The statue depicts the lion resting his paw on a big red round ball, symbolizing the ending of British colonialism. The lion represents England and the ball represents the whole world, symbolizing that Britain ruled the wants ruled the whole world, including the Caribbean, parts of South America, Africa, United States, United Kingdom, and parts of Europe. This land statue is an iconic landmark here in Barbados. This land statue is an iconic landmark here in Barbados. And people from all over the world, when they come to Barbados, also visit this land statue. So, again, I'm in the parish of St. George, which is in the center of the island. St. George and St. Thomas are the two landlocked parishes here in Barbados best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. There is no sea nor coastline in these parishes. These are the parishes that have no sea nor coastline in them. St. George, as I said before, is my father's birth parish, the parish in which my father was born and raised. For those of you who don't know who my father is, Satchmore that sings or that used to sing with the San Pebbles group years ago is my father. And he is from the beautiful parish of St. George. So this is the beautiful land. And the Gunhill Signal Station is situated behind the land. And it is the highest point in this St. George Parish. One to uh, 700 feet. You see the Signal Station here, which gives awesome views of six out of the 11 parishes in Barbados. So, this is the parish in which my father was born and raised, the parish of St. George. That's more that sings, that used to sing years ago. It's from St. George. And from here you can get a good view of the St. George Valley and into the south of the island as well. All along the south coast, we can see. And you can see all into Bridgetown. From here, this is the country's capital. And the western direction I'm looking in now. Oh, the lion. So this is lion was carved by Captain Henry Wilkinson.
So I really love this lane statue very much. How to sit down here. On the ground, on the ground, but. So get an angle of the land. You can see the lovely sunset in the background. So when you visit Barbados, be sure to stop here and take in and, and pay this land statue a visit. Be sure to pay this land a visit when you come to Barbados to visit, to do a tour or whatever. It is in the parish of St. George. And again, St. George is the basket parish of Barbados. And it was carved out of the parish of St. Michael between 1640 and 1641. So St. Michael is the mother parish and St. George was carved out of it. These last names are inscripted in Latin and this is in English. These last names are in English and this is in Latin. So I will now soon do a video of the roadside at Gunhill St. George shortly. Thank you guys for watching and have a blessed evening.